um, yeah, obviously, um, as we said earlier, the recording will be sent out to people. But um, yeah, thank you very much for that. And uh, obviously, we'll hear back from you if there's any questions. I'm just going to quickly run through um, sort of the SecOps in action. So what does that actually look like from a Cloud Direct perspective? Um, but also, how does it look from from your perspective as an end customer in terms of your um, current situation from a security operations um, scenario? So um, first and foremost, obviously, defining responsibilities for security operations um, is, is, is unique from one business to another. Um, and really, it depends on the, the value that you place on your data um, and the understanding of the risks that your business is potentially exposed to. Um, so. It's, it does it does sort of um, differ differ between the different organizations that are out there and, and the regulations and the industries that you're part of but there are some standard actions across the sort of uh, organization so whether that's day-to-day -day BAU tasks um, that are essentially highlighted in the uh, the lighter blues um, section of the uh, slide um, so these are really sort of your ongoing tasks um, that essentially divide, uh, define that base layer, basic security or, or a systems analyst um, role. And um, what we really look for there is making sure connectors are working and are operational within Sentinel. So it's key to having successful monitoring um, within Sentinel. Um, also, from a, an, an ongoing se uh, Sentinel maintenance perspective, you're looking at workbooks and dashboards. Um, core uh, and important elements to to be operational in order to analyze and digest those trends of data and any opportunities to improve your security posture. In terms of defining rules, queries and hunting, again, this is all part of the maintenance on an ongoing basis. Um, it's keen to make sure these are working as intended to be able to actually uh, build out um, the data that uh, that Sentinel is, is producing. Um, alerts and incidents that are you know managing the actual process of what you do with that that data so once you've got those um high fidelity incidents what do you actually do with them from an escalation perspective because obviously losing or using the tooling is the uh is one thing actually um working and remediating on the outputs is, is another thing so how does it actually work from a monitoring perspective and how does it get from uh, an individual just doing that um analysis um to somebody who's actually um under the bonnet um, doing that remediation work. So from our perspective, we have a uh, an alert and monitoring service. And essentially what this will do is we have a the 24-7 capability on that monitoring where we will maintain your Sentinel deployment. Um, so basically following the same process that Jeff's gone through, we then obviously maintain that deployment as part of this monitoring and alerting service. Uh, and then furthermore to that, we then create bespoke escalation paths to you. So what do you want us to do with those incidents once we've got there? How do you want us to uh, basically best prepare you for the remedy and the uh, rectification of those security incidents? So that's one element that we that we do do. Um, it leads us on to that darker blue section. So. And this really depends on where you are as an organization. So some some of you on this call might have your own um, security operations center yourselves where that's already covered. You might already be using a third party, for instance, um, to, to cover that for you. Um, but the key thing with Cloud Direct being a managed services provider is that our bread and butter, our resource breadth allows us to really offer that cost effective and efficient monitoring alerting service to then feed into um, whoever you might be using, whether it's internally or externally for that investigation threat response side of things. Having said that, um, we are going through a process of actually uh, producing and onboarding a fully managed Sentinel solution where we will do everything that's on this uh, particular slide. So please uh, do look out for that. It'll be something that will hopefully be in market within the next quarter or so. Um, and essentially that will take cradle to grave all the way from the maintenance and monitoring all the way through to remediation, um, investigation and ongoing best practice. So that's something that we are looking to bring to market. But currently, um, and again, it depends on where you are. If you are somebody who doesn't have a security operations center or anybody doing this type of work that we've covered today in this webinar then that solution would be ideal for you anybody that already has that internal resource or has an external party covering that uh, that darker blue section at the bottom there then um, please get in contact with us to talk about the uh, the monitoring alerting service because it is an efficient and cost effective solution for uh, for that 24 7 analysis and maintenance of, of sentinel